Wonderful time of the year. We got sports back. We got football back. There is no better time of the year than high school football. It's so Thank exciting you, to see. In, in, in high school sports, we had two games tonight. The second annual Battle on the Bluff came to a conclusion. In game one, Cardinal Newman under first year coach Doug Dutton destroyed Peely in 37 to 6, setting the stage for the main event Westwood versus host River Bluff. A year ago, Westwood coach Rodney Summers' team beat David Bennett's River Bluff squad 46 to nothing to spark a 12-win season, but it's a new year as Gators coach David Bennett get his team fired up to play. Onto the field, Westwood took command early with quarterback Jalen Smith dropping back, finding Dontre Ryshawn Gallman down the sideline for a huge pickup in River Bluff territory. Three plays later, Smith rolls out to his left. We'll see it looking good, fires deep, down to the end zone, finds Malik Griffin on the one yard line. That would set up a touchdown on a quarterback keeper from Smith here, still celebrating. Nice job taking it up the middle, goes in for the score. That would put Westwood up seven to nothing. River Bluff answers back though, as quarterback Brandon Tillman, star athlete, great baseball player, lays this nice floating pass out to Devon Johnson for a big game that got the crowd fired up. Very next play, Tillman tosses a screen out to Taiwan Glenn. He takes that deep into Westwood territory. The Gators would get a field goal out of that drive, but touchdowns matter in football. And on the next drive, Westwood takes it in here. Jalen Smith again from the five yard line. That would be a second touchdown of the game. Westwood would go on. They led 17 to 10 at the half to defeat River Bluff 34 to 17 in this one. Now, sticking with high school sports, WLTX is committed to bringing you the best coverage possible. And in addition to our preseason blitz series, Friday Night Blitz, you can see we are engaging you through social media with the hashtag Blitz19. Use this in your posts of pictures from the games and we'll use your photos in our air and online. Now, with just five games to go, five days, I should say, before the start of USC's football season, the Gamecocks took to williams Bryce Stadium for the final scrimmage of camp, hoping to find something positive on offense after managing no touchdowns in regulation a week ago. Behind a rejuvenated running game led by Blythe Woods' own Brandon Wilds, Steve Spurrier says USC may have done just that. Uh, yeah, the, the offense did a lot better today. Uh, Steve Fink will give you the statistics, but uh, we had uh, the ball moving a bit. Uh, we had a lot of careless plays, uh, some fumbles, wide receiver dropped a couple. So uh, we're still pretty careless out here. But uh, it was encouraging uh, that the offense uh, did a lot of good things, and all the quarterbacks did a lot of good things. You know, shoot, I wish one of them outplayed all the rest, but when you look at this stats over here probably pretty similar where's steve fink he's here very close. okay very close as he says so hopefully we'll 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 find out something early this week and somebody's got to go out the first time so hopefully we'll we can announce that this week sometime because we know if we run the ball it's gonna be hard to stop us uh with our o-line and our backs our o-line love to run the ball so if we know we can run the ball we know we get five yards well, to the links now for round three of the Wyndham Championship. Tiger Woods back atop the leaderboard for the first time since new kids on the block were big. Okay, maybe not that long, but he entered Saturday tied for the lead and is taking it step by step. Sorry. Tiger had the right combination on the front nine. He birdied two of his first five holes and finished the day hanging tough with a two under 68 to put him two shots behind leader Jason Gore. Gore had the right stuff today, shooting an eight under 62, giving him a two shot lead going into tomorrow's final round, which by the way, you can see right here on WLTX starting at 3 p.m. Call it what you want, but Tiger's not blowing my mind yet until he actually wins an event. Well, it was Saturday night under the lights at Bristol for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Kyle Busch led the most laps, 192 of 500, but it was Joey Logano who led the most important lap, the last one. Kevin Harvick and Denny Hamlin rounded out the top three. Stay with us, we'll be right back after this.